not a large distance. On a compass, it is scarcely the thickness of a fingernail. But in certain conditions, one degree can be a very large distance. Enough to unmake a man. Jasper? Jasper, a letter! Three months since my last voyage, and I had begun to believe that I would never fly again. Thus, when my embarkation order arrived from the authority, I felt like a condemned man reprieved from the gallows. I hoped that Captain Griswold had seen fit to pardon me as well. Get off my ship! I see the authority has given me a little choice. But I'll not tolerate another mistake, do you, Ken? Yes, sir. Has some assistance, gentlemen? It's an honor to have you with us, sir. Though I had not been informed that we were carrying a passenger, I was delighted to see it was Dr. Claude Belgon, controversial biologist from the Academy. and oils, Mr. Kim. Charged or not, sir. Mr. Kim, air screw to 100 revolutions. 100, sir. Morello, we are in your hands. Is there a difficulty, sir? Ready to lift. Boys, travel mutual. Pressure steady. Thanks away. Up ship. As the airship lifted, so did my heart. But my joy at leaving was tempered by the knowledge that Amelia was not. Get them inside. There are others coming. Yes, we Administer sulfur, saline drip, and toward 12. Yes, what is it? Surgery's clear. Our city was ravaged ah. by a sickness of appalling virulence. In my absence, I prayed that my darling would stay safe. August 10th, a new trade route has opened up with the Republic of Laurentia, allowing supply ships to reach our beleaguered realm. Our task was to lay beacons to enable wireless communication. The doctor's task was to study us. That as Airman rarely contracted the sickness, he had convinced the Academy to fund a study in the belief that some quality of elevation might lead to a cure. Yes, Doctor. His critics thought it unlikely. No! So did the crew. 
The ant has a marvelous society. Though the doctor was more than a decade my senior, we got on famously. The Formicidae are remarkable. Each can lift ten times its own weight. Indeed. Perhaps we should fashion our diet after that. <laughs> Many pleasant hours were spent in hypothesis and postulation. Morello? Get back to your chart. Aye, sir. You're a patient man, Morello. I could not bear that old family me. He was captain on my last voyage. I made an error. Start at two degrees. Have you sir, Mr. Morello? And start at the three degrees. But it was enough to kill a man. As with the ant, every man has a purpose. He must serve that purpose no matter the cost. When this voyage is over, we will never again be parted. Then we can begin the family. Yes. Fly safely home, my handsome navigator. Women. Doctor. They can carry themselves into the future through their ability to procreate. But a man can only do so through his work. We men of science should stick together. August 12th, a violent tempest came upon us. Increase buoyancy. Pull up, sir! Steam and iron were useless in the face of nature's onslaught. For 14 hours we ran before the wind, far from the trade route. Triple revolution! Burn the bearings if you have to! Aye, aye. stroke. The resolution was destroyed, and with it, my career. Ahoy there, Anonymous! Ahoy! Ahoy there, Anonymous! I'll teach these damn fishermen to run without lights. Ahoy! Get caught, you laggards! What the blazes? Attacked by pirates, is my guess. Genus Lepidoptera. Surely not. 
Inside the refrigeration chamber, the fetter struck me like a blow. But apart from putrefying piscine carcasses, the place was empty. Do you think to find something fishy here, sir? <laughs> I cannot ignore what has occurred. I must insist, we have a duty to science to discover exactly what happened. Science be damned. I'm taking her back. Captain. Mr. Morello. They were fishing in uncharted air. Perhaps they caught something unexpected. The Academy would compensate us generously for a new species. Do you not understand? I've lost my ship. I'm ruined. The laws of salvage will give you this ship. If you take me to the island, I'll make sure the Academy doubles your fee. I'll remind you, we have no compass. But we have a navigator. Do we not, Mr. Morello? August 13th. Without a compass, I set our course by dead reckoning. Our new direction would take us deep into unknown air, out of transmitter range, and any possibility of rescue. A week longer, my darling. No more, I'm certain. Take what time you need. Your welcome will be all the warmer. Amelia. Nothing more. Amelia! She has a sickness. Please, Captain, take me back. She's beyond your help, bud. Take me back! No, souls of the dead, that is. That evening, Lebrun came down with the sickness. <coughs> to my great relief, the captain announced he was turning for home. issue an ongoing contract. Then purse overcame compassion. Camp I began to believe that the next time I saw Amelia would be in the hereafter. Course, Mr. Morello. Maintain course and speed. Are you sir? Captain, will you give the order to land? Take heart, lad. You'll soon be with your wife. Kim? Ox tech watch. Bye. 
Kovacs. Let's see what metals this mud heap has to offer, eh? The volcano, my boy. Heat is a great begetter of life. As we foraged, the air rang with a sound like none I had ever heard. It drew me with such power that I wondered if we had stumbled upon the abode of the fabled sirens. It seemed impossible that such an unremarkable thing could create such euphony. is useless to the Academy. One of these dead for the men on the Hieronymus. I'll not give another the same opportunity. <sighs> Though dead, the monstrosity did not go to waste. No one was skilled in the culinary arts, so the flesh was charred on the outside and bloody inside. Lebrun was too weak to eat, so I made him a broth. There was nothing more anyone could do. A miracle! No, you fool. The creature is the cure! We must obtain a specimen! I told you before, you'll not bring a monster on board! I won't have to. Lord insisted that we secure six cocoons in order to begin a breeding colony for production of a cure. Like heroes of myth, we snatched our prize, then took to the air, flying home to free our land from the microbial invader. Board. Then what remedy will you bring to your wife? I tried to feed them, but they would take nothing I offered. Then a slip with my knife provides the answer. must know. The Academy will send me back to the island. I will insist that you command the voyage. No. 
Morello. The, the crew will panic. They'll kill it. If the creature died, so did Amelia. I could not allow that to pass. <laughs> August 23rd. Kovacs caught a porkfish. The crew saw this delicacy as an excuse to celebrate. Kovacs king of the Claude joined in, though I had never before seen him take a drink. <laughs> that night, everyone staggered back to their bunks to fall into a drunken sleep. Next morning, Kovacs was gone. Doctor? He's not here. When the search proved fruitless, the captain concluded that Kovacs had fallen overboard. Two days later, Lebrun was gone. I could no longer ignore my feeling that Claude was somehow responsible. Doctor! Fascinating creature, is she not? Uh, it would have been a crime to let her die for lack of sustenance. Where are the others? Sedate. Uh, awaiting her need. Uh, for pity's sake, Claude, don't do this. Every man has his purpose. Yours is to get us home. Your wife is waiting. a more fiendish torment. Is our voyage nearly ended, my friend? If I am right, the trade routes lie just beyond the ice. The beacons will guide us home. I've become rather fond of you, Morello. I'll miss our conversations. Be of good cheer, however. One degree had changed my life. It might do so again. <laughs> If you are reading this, you know that the creature is a treasure beyond price. Much blood has been spilled to acquire it. I pray that mine will be the last. It is my hope that my blood will sustain the creature until rescue arrives. If I do not survive, my darling Amelia, know that my last thoughts are of you. Live and do not grieve, for I will be with the great company of souls, riding the Borealis to eternity. Perhaps.
steps they will require a navigator. <laughs>